In the golfing world today, Sam Smith swing is mostly regarded as being the best swing ever in the history of golf. One of the best golf coaches of today is Peter Kellen. He also regards Sam Smith swing as the best and as the embodiment of his concept, spiral staircase. As you may know, Peter Kellen has patented the spiral staircase as trademark for about 30 years. Peter Kellen's concept, Peter Kellen's theory of spiral staircase defines the golf swing in a different point of view. So what makes spiral swing different than the rest? In this video, we will discuss the advantages of spiral swing. What makes spiral swimming better? In principle, any swing includes three major dimensions of movement. One of them is lateral dimension, back and forth, right and left, movement. The other one is rotational dimension, turn and turn, rotational dimension. And the third one is ups and downs, vertical dimensions. Movements means forces. Forces create movements. In classical swings, you can easily identify every single movement by your naked eye. Just viewing, you can say that this is lateral, this is rotational, and this is vertical. Mainly vertical one is in using the ground. If you try to use the ground, you go down and back up and use the ground forces to create extra power. In spiral swings, before going any further, these movements you can identify in golf swings belongs to the body movements, lower body, upper body not the arms and hands, torso moments. In spiral swings, you can hardly identify, you can hardly see and point out the lateral dimensions. Almost there is no lateral dimensions. And the last two dimensions, rotational dimensions and vertical dimensions, are combined into one single dimension, which is called spiral dimensions. There is no turn and turn. There is no down and up, or open and obvious in the spiral city. But these two movements, turn and turn, and downs and up, combines into one single moment, which is spiral moment. You are not turning and turning, you are not moving back and forth, right and left, laterally. But what you do is you are spiraling up. You are spiraling up. Spiraling down. Spiraling up. This is the whole story. This is the main concept. You have only one dimension, which is spiral dimension. You go up spirally and go down and across and up spirally again. No turning. Turning creates trouble. Turning creates inefficiency for your swing. You cannot control turning. You cannot control the club head in the turning swing. To control the club head, you must be spiraling up and spiraling down. In the golf swing, the main difficulty is to control the club head. If there were no club head, you can easily control the club shaft if you turn it upside down and you hold by the head of the club. You know, it's easy to control. But once you normally grip the golf club 
and you have your club head in front of you, then it starts getting difficult to control the club head. You cannot move as you wish, as in the other way. You know, this is easy, this is difficult. So in the golf swing, the main task, main difficulty is the control golf club head. For this, first of all, you must have arms, hands, and club balance systems, which I will give you here if you want. You can go back to one of my previous videos. You must have this balance of arms, hands, and club. To swing the club shaft freely without changing the club head position all across the swing. If you have a spiral swing, then you are able to control the club head and you are able to use the movement of club head. Movement of club head is being driven by the natural forces under the effect of gravity. The whole advantage in spiral swimming comes from this fact that in the spiral swing you can control the natural forces acting on the club head to your advantages. Spiral swimming gives you this power of controlling club head. Let me give you the basics of spiral swimming. What's different in Samsonite swimming? There are two key points. At the end of the back swimming, you have a full shoulder turn. On a 90 degrees full shoulder turn, almost 90 degrees hip turn, a bit less than 90 degrees hip turn. You land on your lead foot, you try to come down from the top on top of your shoulders. You are coming over the top. You are going up and while you are landing on your foot, then you are pulling over the top without any immediate shallowing of the club head. Don't do this. Never. Never do this. As you land on your lead foot, you pull over the top without any dramatic shallowing of the golf club. And second move, at the beginning of the down swing, you are landing on your lead foot. You have almost half a squat. Squatting, right knee, externally rotated. While you are pressing on your lead foot, your right knee stays externally rotated. Right knee, trainly, doesn't come in, doesn't come in at the beginning. You know, this externally stated, this is, this I call half scout of Samson.